Margaret Thatcher has uh, just retired as a politician. She is holidaying in the Cotswolds with her husband Norman. They park at a viewpoint to look out over the valley. As they sit and look, there's a knock at the window. Norman winds down the window and it is Arthur Scargill much to Margaret's surprise. There is a frosty silence of 10 seconds. Arthur asks, I would like to know how much you want for your Rolls Royce. Norman stares straight ahead. Margaret simply turns and glares at Arthur Scargill, who, after staring competition of a few seconds, holds his hands up and walks away. The next morning, Margaret wakes up and goes downstairs to see George the butler lying in a pool of blood on the kitchen floor. Margaret leans over to assess his state. George with a strained death rattle says Arthur Scargill to Margaret and then expires. The Rolls Royce is missing. Margaret tosses George into the garden and heads to the shed to get the sledgehammer, returning to the kitchen. As she begins to smash through the kitchen floor, Norman says, what are you doing? Margaret responds, Arthur Scargill has killed the butler and taken the roller and I'm not having it. As she smashes through the kitchen floor to reveal a large weapons cache in the basement. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Margaret collects the M16, throws a couple of bandoliers of 50 cal over, over both shoulders. Grabs the axe and sets off in the Land Rover, Range Rover. <clears throat> what proceeds is a fairly typical Revenge action movie. Arthur Parks at the Union offices lays waste to a couple of miners milling around outside. Kills the security detail and then Norman's Arthur's script Arthur Scargill's cronies and then after a protracted duel lays waste to Arthur and heads home in the Rolls Royce. <clears throat> 